Remoto 2.3 is being released this week. There are a significant number of changes worth reviewing. Um, this is the 2.3 help. So you can go in here and find the usual controls, the different uh, forms of support and community. Um, if you're going through grid space, you're gonna to wanna to come down here to the version menu and select 2.3, which I'm already running. I will focus on FDM for this video, 3D printing, and there'll be another video for CAM or CNC. The first thing that you'll notice is the visuals have been um, rewritten, and you'll notice that when you go in and do like your first slice of a part. You'll notice the, the 3D uh, rendering versus the flat or the lines in previous versions. The same is true when you go into like a preview mode, um, the colors represent speed. This is a new thing here. Um, and there are a lot more layers that you can turn on and off. I'll get into that a little bit. There are many more application preferences uh, about the way the UI behaves, um, the line types for rendering, which I'm gonna go over, and in cam mode, unit support is a lot better. Um, I'll get into the part quality stuff in just a second. So the first thing um, about the rendering is that uh, while 3D is nice, uh, it's actually nicer for debugging to be able to use what I like in this, the 2.2 uh, version of flat mode. Uh, because in this mode here, you can actually turn on layer view and see the overlapping line segments. That's actually, I think, way more useful for debugging certain types of quality issues. And then in line mode, what I like about this is it's really good for debugging paths, um, such as like G-code paths. So let's turn on the movements, which is cool, but then you can turn on arrows that show you exactly what's starting and ending where and what direction they're going. And in FDM mode, you can turn on retraction so you can see where your printer is doing retractions. So those are the three different primary visual modes which are super useful depending on how you want to debug your part. A um, Couple other things, um, minor things like hover pop, instead of having this pop when you hover, you have to click it to engage it. And that's a little bit easier to, to work with, I found. Um, Let's see what else. Also on part quality, there's this thing called decimation, which uh, affects the imports when you drag and drop something on here. If it's a highly complex model, um, Care Motor can reduce the vertice count to uh, have better memory management and slicing can be a lot faster. Um, it doesn't really affect the slicing quality of a part um, in terms of the output that you print for highly complex models, but that again is left in your hands. The quality part right here affects uh, the slicing and the G-code output. So let's say we bring in Benchy, for example, and um, if the default is good here, let's just slice that with some default settings and see what it looks like on the bow of Benchy. It looks pretty smooth. Um, there may be a little bit of dimpling, but we can always go to best and that'll go away. Let's go to fair and see what happens to the quality of this here. You get a little bit more dimpling on the, on the surface here. Um, let's go down to pour. Now, you're gonna ask why would you wanna do this? Um, there are a couple reasons. For some printers, uh, this results in um, a lot smaller G-code files. Uh, they can't keep up with finely detailed models. Um, uh, it may be a memory issue uh, because uh, when you go to fair and pour, it uses substantially less memory to do a lot of the slicing and processing. Um, those are just things that you can play with another, another you know, dial that you have. Um, another thing that's really interesting about um, 2.3 is the profile export has been ex uh, expanded a little bit. Uh, now you can click include workspace and that will back up all your device's profile settings as well as the objects you have in your workspace. So once you've got this here, um, I can share that with anybody else. They can replicate my environment or um, suppose I'm doing some other kind of work here and I drag this back on, it'll show me what I had before. And if I say yes, it will basically reconstruct the workspace that I had. So that's really super useful for both debugging, saving old work, um, engaging with people for support and all those kind of things. So there are a couple of things that are uh, useful in the preferences that um, are relatively recent. Autosave um, is one where whatever you're doing in your environment here, if autosave is turned on, then if you reload the page, it'll come back exactly to where you were before, regardless of what you're doing. So if I delete this um, and then I come back, it's going to be gone, uh, which is why it's good to have a backup. 
Um, so those are a couple of useful things. The rulers are obvious. Um, in CNC mode, I'll talk about units. It doesn't really apply to um, FDM mode. Another thing that's really uh, nice in this latest version is uh, G-code import export um, has been substantially improved. So if I uh, I'm going to download this, um, so I download the G-code. I'm going to bring it back in and re-render it. Looks great. So here's an example of a uh, simplify. G code. This was gen generated in Simplify, not in Kiribato, and there it is rendered. Slice the same part in Kiribato, and the output looks like that. So, um, substantially improved um, in many, many different ways. The uh, rendering engine should be a lot faster. Um, please hop on over to the forums uh, or on Discord um, and provide feedback and uh, get support and check out other YouTube videos. I'll be posting one on CNC relatively shortly. So I look forward to your feedback and thanks for your time.